Goals or runs or outs are usually the ecstasy of any game, as they are the things that determine the outcome of the match. After scoring a goal and hitting a touchdown, players are usually engulfed in a euphoria with their teammates and their fans. During these moments, emotions run wild, and all sorts of celebrations follow. We all know Cristiano Ronaldo, and his CU celebration energizes the entire stadium after he breaks us. At times, we've even seen footballers removing their shirts and receiving a yellow card. But how often do you see a player celebrate against their former club? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to examine the mystery of footballers and why they prefer celebrating against their former clubs. Before that, if you are interested in knowing about the most iconic celebrations, you can let us know in the comment section below. We most notably witness the football players do not like celebrating against their former clubs as a form of respect and they don't want to provoke the fans. We normally see this when the football player has had a long-standing history with the previous clubs and has a good rapport with the fans. For example, Frank Lampard's goal versus Chelsea while playing for Manchester City. It was not only the first goal for Lampard, but it also saved City as they were trailing. Upon scoring the goal, Frank Lampard didn't celebrate against his former team. Transfer seasons are one of the most common occurrences in football. During transfer windows, we see a lot of shuffling players between teams. These players get a chance to play against their former clubs on a lot of occasions. And as we all expect, players will give their best to win the game for their current club while still maintaining respect for their former clubs. However, the euphoria of scoring a goal could be overwhelming. But the players still try and keep calm and not celebrate. This is more of an unspoken rule than the game's written laws. Well, as we see it, there are two major reasons that players do not prefer celebrating against their former clubs. Number one, out of respect. There are numerous cases where a player was an important player for their former side and thus wouldn't hesitate to celebrate against them. Many players move on to another club because of their performance in their previous clubs. When a player has shined for a club and brought them to a position where they compete with the best, they're bound to create a rapport and bond with the fans and the club. When you have such a bond, seeing your former teammates on the same pitch as you but in different sides, there's just this pinch of nostalgia that hits, and I would assume, and you wouldn't feel like celebrating against them. Number two, not wanting to provoke the fans. We all remember the football matches during prime COVID where matches were played behind closed doors and there was no noise. The fans in the stadium, they play a crucial role for the game. They're the game's heart while chanting for their team and creating an energetic atmosphere. Away games, especially with fans, are challenging for the opposition because of the vibrant yet hostile atmosphere. During these times, former players are more careful and they wouldn't want to celebrate in front of fans. However, even if the player decides to celebrate a goal in front of his former fans, this would lead to an uproar by the fans, followed by many boos. Fans are an essential part of football, and disrespecting a formerly amicable fan base isn't a good idea. Thus, players need to keep calm and try and sustain their feelings. Here are examples of players that didn't celebrate against their former club. Alvaro Morata. Alvaro Morata is another controversial name in football as he's been linked to multiple conspiracies regarding this high transfer fee. The Spaniard has played for many top clubs in his career, such as Real Madrid, Chelsea, Juventus, and Atletico Madrid. Alvaro Morata has had a very delightful career and still shines at Juventus. Originally, he began from Real Madrid and went back and forth between Turin's Old Lady and Los Blancos. In 2014-15, during the Champions League semi-final clash when both the sides met, Alvaro Morata scored in both home and away and helped Juventus pass Real Madrid and also move on to the final in Berlin. Even after scoring such big goals, Alvaro Morata did not celebrate during both occasions despite the euphoric atmosphere. And how did he keep calm after scoring crucial goals that helped push his current team towards the Champions League finals? And the main reason would be that he respects his fans back at Santiago Bernabeu and he wouldn't celebrate against them. Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, we all know this big name in the sports industry. 
The Portuguese legend is recognized as one of the greatest footballers to ever be, after winning five Ballon d'Ors, among many other accolades, of course. Coming out of the Sporting Lisbon youth setup, Cristiano Ronaldo was soon moved to Manchester United, Real Madrid, Juventus, and now back to Manchester United. Cristiano Ronaldo has achieved uh, many, many great things with the best clubs for 19 years, over 19 years now. Cristiano Ronaldo has played against a former club quite a few times, and one of the most memorable encounters was back in 2013 during the Champions League corner final against Manchester United. At the time, he played for Real Madrid. And during the first away leg at Old Trafford, Cristiano Ronaldo scored the goal to give Real Madrid the 1-2 win. He didn't celebrate the goal even after his tremendous contribution as he raised his hands to respect the Manchester United fans. During the second leg, while playing at home, Cristiano Ronaldo leapt high and scored a fantastic header that eventually helped Real Madrid win the tie. Even though he scored his, this brace at home, Cristiano Ronaldo went on to keep his earlier promise and he didn't celebrate against Manchester United. Conversely, there's a few players who don't tend to follow this unspoken rule and would still celebrate against their former teams. We usually see this when the player has left his club on a sour note and had a rather poor relationship with the former club, their fans, the managers, or their teammates. Here are some examples of players who have celebrated after scoring for their former club. Emmanuel Abadayor. In his prime years, the Togolese striker was part of some of the best clubs around the world. Although his career trophy was in 2011, the Copa del Rey with Real Madrid. Emmanuel Adebayor also engraved his name in the Premier League as one of the most ruthless strikers at that time. He had scored a total of 97 goals that contributed to the successful runs of Arsenal, Manchester City, and Tottenham Hotspurs. Well, there's just one goal wherein his notoriety can be noted. During the 2009 to 2010 season, after his switch to Manchester City, Emmanuel Adebayor scored against his former club, Arsenal, and after he scored, he sprinted across the field to celebrate right in front of the traveling Arsenal fans. Emmanuel Adebayor later explained that he celebrated due to the racial abuse that he suffered in that match. The Football Association found him guilty of improper conduct and fined him 25,000 euros. Luis Suarez Luis Suarez had quite a stellar career, or rather a controversial one. Luis Suarez has played across Europe, starting with Ajax and then moving to Liverpool, then on to Barcelona and finally to Atletico Madrid. His career consisted of over 500 goals and 200 assists, making him an excellent talisman for his club and country. During the 2020 transfer window, Barcelona sold Luis Suarez to league rivals, Atletico Madrid, and once he was at the Wanda Metropolitano and helped the Atletico Church in the 2020-2021 La Liga title. Early in the season, Luis Sulce scored against the struggling Barcelona side and made a mock phone call gesture when he scored against them, making fun of his former manager, Ronald Koeman. He made the gesture because Ronald Koeman told him to leave the club by a phone call. How disheartening, right? Players usually switch clubs and leave to different teams for, I mean, a lot of reasons. When they face their former clubs, everybody expects them to give their best to their new team. This also might be seen when a player is out on loan and is playing against his parent club. If a player scores against their former team and doesn't celebrate, it's mostly due to respect for their team and its fans. As we learned earlier, when there's bad blood between the player and the manager, we can expect a player to celebrate after scoring against their former club. Do you think it's right to celebrate against a former team irrespective of the reason? You can let us know in the comment section below by doing that thing where you type stuff with your keyboard and, and comment. Well, if you're interested about knowing the most iconic celebrations, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Later. Later.